What's up, guys? Little, little good old classic Beatles across the universe. Space, space themed. How's everyone doing? I just have to double check that I'm not still muted. There you go, because I have been a bad habit of doing that lately. So, if you see the uh, s s Jack over here, I got about another 50 comic books in today that I haven't had a chance to go through. I've scanned them all in the app, but, um, you know, whatever. Um, I got, so, one, two, three, three new slabs in this week, and my Deadpool finally came back, which got a 9.6, which I'm very, very happy about. That means it's like a $900 book. i very happy with my Deadpool, and uh, we'll probably show that off later. Um, ah, well, <laughs> pull a comic, let's do it right now. <laughs> what's a bastard you would you do you want me to bring out the dead let's bring out the deadpool All right, guys, so this is what I won in a spin. So I got this for free for buying $20 worth of books from a local comic store. The owner was very upset with me that I won. The first appearance of Deadpool. First appearance of Deadpool. Uh, first appearance of Gideon. First appearance of Copycat. And first appearance of Domino. So this is a huge, huge book. Mega key. And I sent it in to get graded. I sent it in to get graded and it came back as a 9.6. I'm very happy about that. That means this is a seven to $800 comic. This is probably the nicest one in my, the most expensive thing in my collection right now. But I'm very happy. I have first appearance of Deadpool. I fucking cracked this one. All these rare comics are fucking sweet. I know. Dude, I know. I won this. I got this for free, Draw My Dreams. Alright, shoot one sec. Just want to let say it's just going to get a little bit of water. I'm watching your clip. Not, oh no. Oh, hopefully the the VOD saved because I was having trouble with them recently. Who clipped that? Um, but yeah, I'm I'm very I'm very happy with the grade this one got. Yeah, I got this one for free. So after I started buying comics, I realized that it was I'm paying a lot of money in shipping. I am. I'm paying a lot of money in shipping to all these places to mail things to me. So I was like, I wonder if there's a local place that has a good selection. Keep that for yeah, exactly, dude. By the time I'm in my fifties, this is this is gonna be a banger. This is gonna be a banger. Um I realize I'm spending way too much money on shipping. So I started to look around for like local local comic places and one person they had a thing and every Monday so they get new collections in all the time they go through the collections and every Monday they let they pull things out and they're like hey before we put this on the floor that's available for anybody else to buy for the people that follow our Facebook group we give you first dibs on things and they give them away pretty cheap right and I went through half the stuff that they gave out and, and, and they, they do put some really nice stuff out. So I, I bought... I'm trying to remember what, what it is that I bought. I think I bought Spider-Man number one, the Tom McFarlane cover. And a couple other things. And they're like, alright, you have to come by before the end of the week to pick them up and pay for them. And I was like, okay. So I came in and it was... 
20 like $25. And they're like, oh, well, you can sign up for our loyalty program. And you get a spin on a mega wheel that has like a hundred slots that give you a free pick out of a comic, out of blah, 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 blah. Or a free pick out of the comic, uh, out of the back wall, which is like super. Or there's like one thing on the hundred slots that's like, you get the mega comic off the wall, right? You get it. Uh, so I, I was like, oh, yeah, fuck yeah, I'll sign up. And it was free. It's not like I had to pay for it to sign up. And you get to spin the wheel every time you spend a certain amount of money with the store. And it, I understand it. It's a, it's a nice little gimmick to, you know, get people to come back and keep buying. I spun the wheel and I won the mega comic. Now, I had two choices. I had two choices for the mega comic. I had Amazing Spider-Man. I, I don't know the number off the top of my head but first appearance of the punisher and it was in really rough shape really really rough shape like it was missing the bottom corner in everything and i was like oh god it's still really nice it's actually still more expensive than this is but whatever and then i was like hold on man you got that new mutants on the wall let me take a look at that new mutants 98 this is the first appearance of deadpool i fucking love deadpool so i, I pull it out and i look at it and i'm like oh my god this thing's in really 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 nice condition for 1991 so 30 over a 30 year old comic book i'm like let me let me take a look at that and i was like yeah i'm gonna pick this one and he was super upset with me that i won and i i was like no i'm taking it i i sent it straight to cgc as is I didn't do anything to it. I didn't get it pressed. I didn't do anything. And it came back a 9.6. So I'm super happy about that. Super, super happy. Because that means it's in very good condition. Very good condition. I also sent another comic to CGC that I'll get here sometime next week as a benchmark. And it was a brand new comic that Sally bought me. Because I just wanted to know what the differences are. So that way I can go through my collection and look... Oh, this one might get this. I, I'm trying to figure out how they grade. And so I sent Miles Morales number one, um, which Sally just got me it to get slabbed. And that's coming back next week as a 9-8. But the difference between this and that is like that's a year old comic. And this is a 35 year old. But I know what to look for now. So now I have a whole new list of things to send in. Anyway, nerd rant over. Nerd rant over. But yeah, I got first Deadpool, so I'm, I'm excited about that. I'm gonna, the next one I'm gonna send in, which will probably be sometime in the next couple weeks, I have two copies of when Deadpool and Wolverine fight for the first time. I'm probably going to send both of those in. The one, the first one I got is in really, really rough shape, so it probably won't be a good grade, but I have another one that's in really good shape. I think I'll get a pretty decent grade out of it. And, you know, that's only going to go up in value with the new Deadpool movie coming out, so... Deadpool and Wolverine... Oh, uh, and of course, capture card. We haven't even started yet. It's already frozen. All right, where are we going? All right, we are finishing up our, uh, this is my New Game Plus playthrough. So I am fully geared out. Um, I got the level six armor on, which looks fucking gangster. Um, I'm also doing one gun, so I'm only using the plasma cutter.
but I've got every everything maxed out. Which is required for a trophy. So really this is this is my new game plus one gun run. The only thing I really have to make sure of in this run is I just have to not use any weapons other than the one that I currently have equipped. And there's a, a unique collectible spread all over the place in this one that I have to find all 12 of and that will unlock an alternate ending. Which I've done most of it to this point. Oh. So I really have to find like maybe three more of them. This is all new area. All right. Hello? Babe? The light was flickering and it's not her. That's weird. Oh, my, my, my new sister. That's my new sister's texting me. Sorry. Ladies and gents, we just lost power. Am I still online? Still online. Okay, so we, we lost power, but we didn't lose internet. Interesting. Hey, babe. I think we're still online. Interesting, the internet didn't go up, but the power went out. Um. 
we are under a tornado watch at the moment. So. We're gonna die, we're gonna die playing video games. Yeah, my shelves went off. Yeah. Whatever you get up to pee and stuff, just keep an eye on that drain and everything. Yeah, I know the power already went out. Oh, really? I didn't it, even notice the dog. Uh, the dog was outside when the rain started all of a sudden. Yeah, it, everything, everything shut down. Good thing you have a laptop. Yep. Now I'm just trying to get my lights back turned back on. You're in Iowa, Fitch. I'm not in Iowa. It's we it's weird that like the internet didn't go out though. That that is for the entire power to turn off and not have the internet go off is is strange. That one might be down for the night. <sighs> My girlfriend who lives in Iowa is also under a tornado watch. Yeah, we're, well, I mean, we're in the same, Iowa's the state above us, so. We've been under a tornado watch since 3 o'clock, and it hasn't really been that bad until maybe 20 minutes ago. Ooh, that's not good. Luckily, dead space does not require the USB extended storage. That that is a problem for another time. I think I just lost power again. still good. I'm going to bear back. I have to check on a couple things. Party goes. <laughs> they exploded. <laughs> Let's just rip the band aid off. Let's do this. All right. God. <laughs> oh, it's so painful.
Hey. The freaking Guardians of the Galaxy. Come on. Stop wasting time. Destroy the generators now. Light is not turning back on, everything else seems to be working. No, see, no, those are off. All my lights are off. It's fine. No biggie. Yeah, we just... There's a lot of rain, so I just need to keep an eye on the back door. And none of my lights are working anymore. Uh, which is fine, that's not a big deal. Um, I just have to be prepared that if it starts to flood, to be ready for it. We've been watching a lot of Justice League recently. Oh! Ooh. 
Ooh, yeah, yeah. Too many dead bodies laying around. We gotta stop these fuckers. Not dealing with them. What did these fuckers have like a mass suicide? Oh, those are all the winnings for Zero G basketball. Which, frankly, my dear, we don't give a damn. hear it, but I don't see it. There it is. There's one behind me.
Uh, we're going to see if we're going to finish this playthrough tonight. I don't have to do a lot of side questing like I did before. Oh, that's Jacob. I didn't catch that before. This is why it's always beneficial to do multiple playthroughs. When you put it that way, you and your marker can go to hell. Escape the hunter. All right. come through here. Two of these fuckers? Jesus fuck Stop him out! Hey Sally! Yes, I know the lights aren't on. They won't turn back on. I can't get them back on. And then we're going to go and show off some Art of Bianca lovings. Because Art of Bianca is amazing. Oh, look at you again. Is this the same? Is this the same clip? Oh! TJ Katie. You know, it's not the same clip. Man, people. 
multiple people must have clipped this body paint. They must have loved this body paint so much, Elise. DJ KD, thank you for the minis. Thank you for the minis, honey. Look how cute. It's a clip of a clip inside of a clip. Barricaded the door. We gotta unbarricade the door. Oh, okay. Now it says destroy tendril and standard quarters. All right. So now this is where my collectibles may or may not come into play. No, my next one is Destroy Tendril in the Deluxe Quarters. So we're close, we're close. There's a tendril in here. There it is. Destroy tendril in the deluxe quarters. Okay, so this is where my, my collectible comes into play. My collectible is... But they'll never but take our freedom. freedom. Oh shit, there he is. Oh my god. You fucking sit there and hold that. <laughs> oh 
Okay, we can't get back into there without power. Um, is there something in here we can bring with us? to ask yourself one question do I feel lucky well the well, punk, the punk? <clears throat> all right I am already lost on the trails of this fucking collectible yeah I feel like I gotta go I gotta go back Back down there. I feel like that's right. Hold on, let me view this map. Okay, no, I don't know where I'm at. I'm vengeance. Alright, I feel like I, I gotta get in there. But I don't know how. How do you... Uh, okay, so I need, a, I need a power thing. Okay. Where do I find a power thing? Oh. Nope. It's a box. We got, we got explodies outside.
Oof. Okay. Now this map looks right. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Alright, now we can watch this guide. All right, there's a lot to this step. A lot. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna go in here. Fucking die already, lady. It's super creepy. Oh, jeez. All right, I gotta pee. I'll be right back. <laughs> that was amazing. That was oh, it's getting tighter. It's like my head's getting fatter or something. This is actually not that. Like, this is like one of the best masks to wear because I can still actually see. Um, and we have different eyes. We do have different eyes. Not right now, Po. Not right now, Po. No. God damn it. <laughs> Superheroes wear shorts over pants. No, I know. No, I know. It just looks weird! And I, like, I was like, look, cool comic book Drax, I like this. Oh, shorts over pants. 
Again! Why did they think that this was a cool idea? Come on! Stop wasting time. Destroy the generators now. All right. Take a right. Take a right and it's in here. Okay. How many fucking stasis packs I have? Alright, what's my current objective? You know what? Uh, we don't need to actually, because uh, we no longer need money. But we can sell some shit, to clear up our inventory. Destroy the ch tendril in the chief steward's office. Is that where this? Yes. Okay. Next collectible is in the chief steward's office. Oh, it looks like it's right in front of me. Like, I can't miss it. Okay. Just 
anomaly detected. Quarantine activated. Dirty. My friends, is this what you hoped for when you signed your lives away to the church? Does this carnage? Look What's up, man? Yo, 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 yo. Hold on, let me zoom in so you can see it. Ooh. <laughs> I hate you. I found another one this week that I was tempted to buy. It was in the raw. It was raw, so it wasn't slabbed. Um, that looked like it was in very good quality. If someone breaks into your house and that's missing, it wasn't me. <laughs> uh, it was very good quality, but it sold in the raw for raw for six hundred. So I was like, oh, no, I'm out. After after it went over, like, 400, I was like, I'm out. I can't. It looked like it was in good quality, but... Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm very happy about the grade. I'm very, very happy about the grade. And now that I sent this off and I sent Miles off, I kind of got a standard to know what to look for. So I do have the next set. I have nine books picked out to send back, send to get graded. Um, now that I kind of know what the standard is and I kind of know what to expect. Uh, my list, my list thus far, and I'm whittling it down because not all of these deserve to be graded. Black Knight, number one. Ghost Rider, number 28. First appearance of the Midnight Suns. Which I still have in the poly bag. So I think that'll be that'll come back pretty high. I'm considering... And this is one I will delete if I need to. Uh, just because it's not a super big deal if I get it slapped or not. But uh, Spider-Man, number one. Todd McFarlane. The Thing, number one. Thor 391, that's the first appearance of um, Thunderstrike, Eric Masterson. My other Thundercats, number one. And probably Wolverine 88 and Wolverine number one. Those are the ones I'm considering, but I'm like... I don't really feel like it's worth sending all of them, so I just have them in a list, and I'm like, nah, 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 nah. I'm just gonna, I'm taking time to think about it. Since getting them graded is not cheap at all. I don't know what lies beyond death. I want that Wolverine, but I still need to see if I have it first. I'm going to go through my comics tomorrow since I have to bag and board anyways. Which Wolverine? 88? Because if you're talking about 88, I have two copies. I have two copies now. Oh, yeah. If you don't have it, I, I'll give you one. I have two copies now. This is why I had to stop buying. I had to stop buying things because I'm buying shit and I don't even know what the fuck I have. 
Oh, number one, number one. Okay. Not anymore. But I do know our lives are more than just fuel for convergence. If we work together, we can fight this evil. It's not too late. First patch. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I know for a fact I have 88. Yeah, I have two 88s now. One of them's it's okay, okay quality, but the other one's like pretty good. And I kind of want to send in the one that's pretty good. But I kind of want to wait on those because I kind of want to see what the price jump goes to for after Deadpool three. If the if the price jump goes through the roof, I might send both and sell one. You know. I got a lot of slabs now, bro. A lot of slabs. But I also have a lot of slabs that I don't fucking care about. The hell is that? That I don't really want. I just want them, and I don't really fucking want these things. Like, my slab wall, I want all to be, like, 90s or pre-90s. Shit. Oh, speaking of doubles, remember that Wolverine cover that was a, a two-parter with Sabretooth? I got a second one now. So, I get one too. So if we return the marker to Aegis 7, it'll stop the outbreak? Exactly. But we need the shuttle to return it to the planet. I do have a lot of doubles now, though. You have a secondary problem. And I can let you. Because what I noticed about Whatnot, a lot of people, they all sell the same shit. Deal. Excellent. But there's a couple people that, like, I follow and buy stuff from who are, like, at cons this weekend, and they're like... They're doing shows, walking around the con floors, like, hey, I'll get this for you right now. And they don't mark up the price. Which is kind of cool. Come on, bro. Leave the room. All right, that's that collectible. I do have a lot of doubles of Spider-Man. Of like the newer, the newer volume of Spider-Man. I have a lot of doubles of that. A lot of the Virgin covered doubles. Okay, all right. Next collectible. There should only be one more. It's in Chapter Eleven. So I think from here we just uh, finish the chapter.
Quarantine lifted. I probably don't need to do any of this stuff anymore. At this point, I, I'm I'm so geared out. I probably don't need to do anything other than finish the fucking game. Yo, calm the fuck down! Go, 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 go! Fuck this oh, ship. Kendra? I am. But every alert on the Ishimura is screaming. Critical damage to internal systems. The marker just ripped right through the ship. Something pulled it down to the cargo bay. Kind. Pilot will shovel the hangar. I'm going after the marker. Of course. Amelia, quickly. Wait, Dr. Kine. That guy's lost it. He killed the captain. We can't trust him near the marker. He says returning it to the planet is the only way to end this. We've got to try. Hey, buddy. I'm heading to cargo. You paint Nicole's rig and tell her where to go. 
Leave it to me. Thanks. When I get the marker, we're all getting out of here. Chapter 11? We're gonna finish it. We're gonna finish this fucking joke. Is the space dead? Yes. The space is dead. What up, Bruce man? How are you, man? How are you doing? Okay, uh, nothing much, just doing some RE7 DLC. How are you? I'm alright. Um, how are you feeling out this storm? I've already lost power twice. So that's fun. Ooh. Honestly, didn't notice. I wouldn't have noticed because of my headphones, but I lost power. Like, I can't get my lights on in the back. It only one of them turned on after the power went out, so... Something's messed up. Mr. Clark, we're approaching the hangar bay. We'll meet you there with the marker. Yes, Amelia Sue. We'll send the hive mind back into the darkness. So glad you gave that guy our only escape shuttle. Shit, Isaac. Those things you've killed, their biomass has pulled down in the cargo bay. It's recombined itself into... Well, it's something huge, and the marker's embedded right in the middle. How the hell do we do this? I've got the Ishimura's cargo cranes. They can move half of the mining gear, no problem. If whatever's down there wants to wrestle for the marker, I'm in. Override the safeties, and yes, it might work. But hurry, we're losing critical systems fast. I like how it just fades and they're not just like out and end it. The fade was the weird choice. The fade was a weird choice. Compromised. No, I still have to. So this is my, this is my new game plus alternate ending one game or one gun playthrough. I still have hardcore to do. I have hardcore to do next. So um, I still got one more to go. I didn't attempt hardcore right away. Yeah, because I kind of want hardcore to be a fresh, a fresh playthrough. I'll have to video call you tomorrow when I pull my boxes out. I have to get, I have to go get more long boxes and bags and boards. Dude, I'll be, I'll be, uh, I'll be all on Discord in the morning if you want to do that then. I got to go through mine. I have to start building a key box. Is it? Ooh. Was that the was that the one I was looking for?
I think that was. Hold on. Yeah. I think it was. Okay, so let's let's go find out. All I have to do is place them on the thing, and if I don't count 12, then I know I'm missing one. I don't know about morning. I'm definitely getting some sleep. Dude, 1030. Ish. 1030 ish. The fuck, man? Nah. <laughs> how do you sleep in so late? I don't know how you fucking do it. I've been sleeping in late lately, though. How did I miss that one? <laughs> oh, sorry, Poe. Because I'm fat and I hibernate like a bear. <laughs> well, poor cat. All I did was sneeze. So my guy, my guy is currently at Megacon, and he is uh, at the crew deck. getting Punisher Warzone number one signed for me by John Berthenol, and he's going to send it to get slabbed because he's got a witness there. So I'm going to have a 9.8 or 9.6 um, Punisher Warzone number one. Signed by John Berth and all. Ooh, those of you that don't know, John Berth and all plays, plays Punisher in the Netflix series, and he will continue to play Punisher in uh, the MCU going forward. Oh. Yeah, yeah, because uh, I, got, I got this one guy, I like him a lot, uh, Bullet. And one of the things I really like that he does is that he'll he'll go around to count cons like all all month, and if you give him a list of things that you're looking for, oh well, my camera's way off. You give him a list of things that you're looking for, he'll go find them for you, and then tag you, or send you a DM. He's like, hey, this is how much this person's asking for it. Are you okay with that price? And he'll buy it for you right there on the spot, no markup, nothing. And he'll just buy it for you right there on the spot. So it's like I got a guy that goes to cons and buys comics for me. It's it's kind of neat. He's kind of cool. I like him. And yeah, he, I mean, he's standing in line to get birth and all signed like 15 Punisher comics. But one of those are mine. You know. So that's pretty cool.
All right, I have to go place these markers down somewhere. Left, elevator, first floor. I'll be right back. I have to use the restroom MP. I'll be right back. Oh, fuck yeah. There we go. Very fucking go, boy. Kidding me? You want that stash? I want your stash on my top. <laughs> Squeak that one through. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna throw it. <laughs> Let's just rip the band aid off. Let's do this. All right. God. <laughs> oh, it's so painful. The test has ended, and with it, your life. Enough. Skill. Honor. I see now why the master. Hey there, little traveler. Really? <laughs> you look a long way from home. You look a little long way from home. <laughs> Why does he sound like a South Park character? <laughs> he's, smoking, he's smoking crack. What are you doing? We've been out of these woods all along. <laughs> you can't call the invention without service. The only way is up through the mountains. You don't want to go up there. It's a dangerous climb. I wouldn't try to find you. The little putty, the putty goes. <laughs> that was amazing. That was oh, it's getting tighter. It's like my head's getting fatter or something. This is actually not that. Like this is like one of the best masks to wear. Because I can still actually see. Um, and we have different eyes. We do have different eyes. That... Fuck over there. Okay, so
I take it this this is a long clip, so. Okay, apparently after I've collected all these markers... I go in here... I got all of them. Okay, so after you collect all of them, you bring them back to this thing. And I think that's it. From here on out, I just finished the game. Alright, well, let's go do that. Now I go here. Yep. Yep, we just finished the game from here. We're good. How bad was hard mode in RE0? It actually wasn't that bad because I followed the guide. And that guy's guide basically avoided all enemies. Other than bosses, you avoided all the enemies.
Okay, that's all I have left. Yeah, you, he the the guy he basically just avoided all the enemies, and um, he basically just you just kept bringing ammo forward, and you saved pretty much all of your ammo for uh, dealing with hunters and um, bosses. The way he had his guys set up, same guy that you you showed me, Optinoob, Optinoob. He's actually got pretty good guides for Resident Evil 1, too, so I've been following his guides for that. The one thing that kind of, that kind of is kind of, I'm kind of upset about for Resident Evil 1 is uh, the speed run. So for Resident Evil... I did his videos for Wesker and no saving. Yeah, I followed him for everything after you showed it to me. He, he he's really he's really worked out well for me. The one thing that I'm kind of if if iffy about is uh is uh a Resident Evil one fix your camp. Dude, I don't know why my cam keeps fucking going crazy. Like, what's going on here? The cam really likes that corner. I don't, I don't know what the fuck's going on. This way, bro. So for Resident Evil uh, Zero, when you do the speed run, if you pause the game, it pauses the clock, right? So you can stop and look up what you need to do next, etc., etc., right? So the speedrun for Resident Evil Zero isn't actually even that bad. However, the speedrun for Resident Evil 1, pausing does not stop the clock. And where's your lights back there? Um, well, Dirty, we're under a tornado watch, and I've lost power twice. And when the power went out, the lights went out, and I haven't been able to get them back on. They don't turn back on. If I try to turn them on, it only turns on the one and not the rest of them. So I just figured, for the sake of symmetry, leave them all off. And now I can't even turn this fucking thing back off. For the sake of symmetry, I'll leave them all off. And I'll figure that shit out tomorrow. But yeah, pa pausing does not stop the clock for RE1, for speedrun. The only thing that stops the clock is quitting back to main menu. Which kind of sucks, because that means I'm going to have to memorize what to do. And then get to like save points, you know, like save. It's just kind of, it's just annoying. Alright, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Engage the cargo crane. Warning. 
Yo, these dudes snuck up like super quick. I have to figure out how to remove this piece of tentacle. Obstruction on cargo so what do you think of Dead Space Remake? Um, I think it's fucking fantastic. I really do. And now I'm kind of biased. Dead Space was one of my favorite games before. But really, like... The simple quality of life improvements, the... The attention to detail, like the frost building on your armor when you go outside, and then watching it melt when it comes back in... Well, you can't use the flame th It's just, it's the details. Access bridge is obstructing transfer. It's the, the little details. The graphics look fucking insane. I'm reading a cargo... I, I am really enjoying it. I hope they remake part two and then continue to do part three. I can get there from the computer core. A pickup? Yes, we'll be there. Can you make it to the airlock alone? No movement on the cameras. I I'm just gonna run for it. Wish me luck. <laughs> Going once. Going twice. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Access bridge is obstructing transfer. Access bridge is obstructing transfer. Access bridge is obstructing Like this is a damn, this is a damn solid remake, and I hear RE4 is a, a very good remake too. So I'm actually, I'm kind of pumped to get to that one eventually too. I know I'm behind. I'm behind. I'm behind on my new release schedule. I have all these games pre-ordered, 
And I'm fucking behind on all of them. I'm gonna be fucking behind on Star Wars, too. Because it, it comes out the weekend that I'm in Vegas. So I'm not even gonna be playing it until... Until the next weekend. But one thing I will not be behind on... 100%... Is the weekend uh, Final Fantasy 16 drops? I'm dropping everything else and I'm playing Final Fantasy 16. Assassin's Creed Mirage has been put on hold. I know they put Suicide Squad on hold. There's a lot of games. Good. Mr. Clark, your colleague's safely on board. My name is Kendra Daniel. Stand by, Isaac. He's bringing the shuttle in now. Automated loading controls. Must be the damage to the ship. We're losing time. The hive mind is down there. Kind, relax. I'll turn off the gravity in the hangar, then I can load the marker by hand. All right. No, don't worry, Amelia. They understand. <sighs> well, we don't understand. You're fucking crazy. You're fucking crazy, mate. Like, just like. Like this shit, like, look at the detail, man, in everything. Just look at the fucking detail. This looks like a fucking space station. It does. It looks like a fucking space station. And you would never notice it because, like, you'd be like, oh, I'm running through this area just like this. But you don't stop to look. Like, look how well designed all of this is this is fucking fantastic like this is really fucking good Entering zero gravity. suicide squad is on permanent hold it won't be released <sighs> god i hope not <laughs> but i mean you know like It doesn't matter what studio it is, they, they gotta figure out that people don't want live service games. We don't want it. Stop trying to make it and, and, and... You know, force feed us content and make us pay for all of it. Like, people don't want it. Like, if it hasn't been obvious with, like, the death of, um, fucking live service games over the past two years, every live service game is just, like, shutting down. Because they're just losing money. People don't fucking want it. At some point, you need to start listening to your fucking player base, you know? Mirage is playing on an old version of a game engine for Valhalla, so he pushed back the release an entire year. Oh, probably because they want to come up with a new engine. Because Valhalla worked on PS4, so they probably want Mirage to be next-gen exclusive, I would think.
you know? Tram control is offline. I like how it just stops for these things and doesn't run them over. I'm like, what the fuck? And the quality of life improvements, Come like, Come quickly. making the zero-g like it was in Dead Space 2 as opposed to Dead Space 1, or, like, jumping from wall to wall, super annoying. Super annoying. This is way better. And they really fleshed out her story. And her story is way different. I, I feel like I remember... I don't know. I have to go back and play the original. Even kind didn't pick up on that. But I feel like she was a... They found the first marker in some crater on Earth. Scientologist trying to preserve the marker where, like... Alien. In this one, she's like a government agent trying to destroy it. I don't know. Our people studied it and reverse engineered this red marker. But they needed somewhere to test it. Aegis 7. You've seen the result. The stuff of nightmares. I thought the old reports were just hysteria. Until I saw what I saw. They sealed off the whole system, buried the records nice and clean. Until CEC got greedy. Those idiots tore each of seven apart and woke up with the old research team left behind. So Earth Gulf sent you to sweep it all under the rug. Damn it, we have to return the marker. If anyone else stumbles across each of seven. It was disappeared once. We can do it again. I've seen how the marker fucks with your head. It must be contained. For what it's worth, we made a great team. You'll find another way off the Ishimura. I mean, you're one hell of an engineer. Your experiment's gonna kill us all! Daniels! And, the, and, and it, it's hard to explain, like, how big of a difference, like, Isaac talking is. She doesn't understand. Isaac. 
Isaac, come in, it's Nicole. Where are you? In the flight control room. Please, you have to come up here now. There's still a way out for us, but we don't have much time. Warning. Multiple system failures detected. Unable to reroute critical functions. But then there's other things like I'm talking to her over here and she's still talking to that wall over there. Daniel screwed me over. There's other things like you couldn't have known she would take the marker. You couldn't have done that. There's still hope. You can recall the shuttle and remote And there's been at least three times so far that I've walked off the map and I can't get back onto the map. I just don't know. The only way to do it is like resetting checkpoint. Recalling shuttle USG09. Prepping remote docking procedures. Damn it, Isaac. You don't know what you're doing. I know you don't understand the marker like I do. You fucking kidding me. Shit! Warning. Escape pod launch detected from shuttle USG-09. Escape pod. Damn. We lost her. Are you going to open the fucking door for me? And this is one thing that kind of threw me off is this space flight, which is kind of blipped. I'm going to go pee. I'll be right back. Daniel said earlier. 
Berthkov built the marker. Some experiment they abandoned hundreds of years ago. If you're not ready. I don't know why you're tracking this way. Because you're not supposed to be tracking. I'm I'm hurrying. They said it, they said the name, they said there's a dead space in the signal. Okay, we need to find a power charge thing.
I still haven't found anything. So I'm wondering, like, what the fuck? Like... Okay, uh, I haven't found anything. Where is this fucking power thing? Yikes. There we go. There we go. We should have three or four trophies pop at the end of this chapter. Quite a few. Quite a few. It should pop everything except for hardcore. Which means we will be one trophy away from platinum. Quarantine. Some of these encounters are going to be so hard on hardcore. They think they're dead. What do you think? The markers saw who they really were. They don't remember them.
We have so much ammo. Test connection. What's it say? Power failure detected. Tether generator. Gravity control. One of the ground side gravity tethers. Maybe a busted power line. I'm on it. Please hurry. We can't fail now. Oh my god! to West Generator. Oh! I thought there was a thingy back there. Okay, so we got one more somewhere.
Where's the... Oh my god, where's the last... The last thing? Play this one. Emergency elevator offline. Notify abatement. Power restored to central generator. Power restored to tether generators. Ready for restart. We are gonna finish this shit off, boys!
All right, this is the final stretch. Isaac, the hive mind is coming. You have to make us whole.
to someone. It's all falling apart here. I can't believe what's happening. Strange. Such a little thing. Just had a talk. That's all this research was in the end. Not much, is it? Just had to make it listen when he begged for convergence. But I had a different prayer. It spoke. And then it listened. Make this stop, I said. Maybe it understood. something wasn't right, but she's... she'd been through so much, and... At least now it'll be in safe hands. The marker won't turn anyone else into its puppet. Give me the loader remote. No. It's over. We're whole again. For Christ's sake, I'm not going to ask again, Cross. No! Enough people will die! Then just do it. See, yeah, they changed her whole story. It's kind of like to the point where you're like, when you think about what her motivation and goals are, she's not wrong. Alright, final boss time! I can still make it before she leaves.
All right, let's go. Let's go.
Ah, come on, come on, come on, come on! We're so close. So Wow, really? Trusted contractor. Okay. One gun. All right. Reunion. All right. See the alternative ending. Soon. I promise. Got to build a little something first. What is it? It's a surprise, sweetie. But I think you're gonna like it. Funny thing is, is that all, that alternative ending makes more canon sense for Dead Space 2. We are 91%. Let's just take a, take a quick double check. Impossible mode. I think impossible mode is the only thing we have left. Yep.
Impossible mode is the only thing we got left. <sighs> yeah, see, it only goes up to hard. So you have to start uh, impossible from scratch. Yeah. Good to know. Good to know. All right. Well, I think we're done for the night. Especially since we're losing power. Um, all right, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, let's Shay Shay something. Let's go raid Shay Shay. She is uh, doing a long stream, trying to finish up her Kingdom Hearts playthrough. Right, I'll see you tomorrow. We're gonna start hardcore mode. <laughs>